hey guys apple just released mac os high sierra 10.13.2 and this upgrade is really crucial to every user this actually fixes the password bypass which was available in 10.13.1 even though Apple released a temporary solution in the name of security update, but I think the this version, macOS High Sierra 10.13.2, seems to be a permanent solution to the password bypass bug. So for those who don't know about it, let me go back and let's go to accounts here, user and groups here. And if you see this is say on, now if you need to get through this, you just need to type root enter now it won't work It'll just hang like this because apple has fixed this otherwise if you do this in an older version which has not installed this security update it will go through so now today in this video i'm going to be taking a look at the 10.13.2 and i haven't updated yet so let me show you which version i'm running so I am currently running the 10.13.1 macOS High Sierra with the build number 17B1003. Okay, so this is strange when you just open the about the Mac, you generally don't see the build number. But as soon as I select this, a build number appears. I don't know whether it's a bug or it's generally the case. I haven't, you know, seen this happening. So as usual, guys, I'm going to be running the Geekbench and the read write benchmarks so here goes geekbench and here goes the system benchmark test which will give me the read and write speeds the same procedures i'll be back when these two tests are finished so guys the scores are here i got a single core score of 2652 and a multi-core score of 5419 and coming to the aga system benchmark test i got a write speed of 308.2 megabytes per second read speed of 335.8 megabytes per second so these scores are somewhat same to uh, the time when i first installed the mac os high sierra 10.13.1 so since then the good news is my mac has not slowed down but will this be the case when i install the mac os 10.13.2 we'll find out as soon as i go ahead and update the next thing i'm going to be doing is updating and rerunning the geekbench scores and the uh, read write scores and let's find out what happens after i update so guys i'm back after upgrading and as you can see i'm running the mac os high sierra 10.13.2 let's check out the build number and yes the same way when i try to select this thing the build number appears so i think it's not a bug so the build number for this version is 17c88 so this is definitely smaller than the previous one which was i think 17b1008 or something so the Geekbench scores are here, as you can see, the Geekbench scores of 10.13.2, single core score of 26.77 and multi-core score of 54.23. If my guess is correct, the previous version score was a bit low. And here you go, the older one on the right, 10.13.1, 26.52 to 26.77, multi-core 54.19 to 54.23. So in both the cases, the scores have gone up and that's a good news here. And coming to the AJA system benchmark test, here goes the older one, 10.13.1 and here goes 10.13.2. Yeah, here we go. So previously the write speed was 308.2. It has gone up by significant amount, 344.2 megabytes per second. That's absolutely good. And Read speed of 335.8 gone up to 351. Again, in this case, both the read speeds and write speeds have gone up by a significant amount. So that's that's really good. This update is, you know, again, proving to be better than the previous one. So now I'm going to be testing whether the bug is back. The same password bypass bug, whether it is in this version, it has it come back. Let's find out. Let's go and click this. It's going to be asking here. I'm going to click root and okay it again brings up another pop-up where if i try to do the same thing i don't know why this pop-up is coming up but okay root and unlock all right okay that's good so apple has finally you know permanently patched this bug where you just need to type in root and when you press the enter key it's done so that's good news and finally coming to the matter that whether or not you should upgrade 
So if you are running macOS High Sierra any version, then I think you should upgrade to the 10.13.2. Really good upgrade. You get a better performance as compared to previous versions. And also it improves or it improves the security with this uh, password bypass bug is also being patched here. And if you're on Mac OS Sierra considering whether or not this will be fast, I do think this will be fast as compared to Mac OS Sierra because this is an old laptop. This is mid-2012 uh, MacBook Air. And in this laptop, I have seen the specs or the performance go up. So yours should be fine. So that's it guys for this video. I'll see you up in the next video. Until next time, it's peace out.